has not been treated. One thing about this topic, one thing about it, is that we have not something that relates to it that will help us understand God. That will help us understand God. It involves small small capital. Small small capital. It involves small small what? Calculation. Which I don't think. But the calculation looks like that. Yes. Okay. Now you will take his leverage. You may see it in your past. You, 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 you please use your mind. Leverage. The you. person will talk about leverage. But what you need to understand, they will be talking about liver and what on liver. When we say liver, it means that the company is financed with debt, which we know as leverage. Have it? So when a company is financed with debt, it means the company is levered. That means that it is, you know, uh, little of what leverage in it. Are you following? Yeah. But when a company is not financed with debt, it means the company is on lever. So you will see some questions talking about lever and what on lever. And you will not think it's leverage. That one is not our normal leverage that we treat it. Are you following? But today, all we're going to look at it passionately uh, and At this level, if I say capital, if I ask in this level, what is capital structure? Let's not waste time. Please mute your mic. Who is QP? You mute your mic. Okay. When we say capital structure, in a simple language, when you have balance sheet of an organization, you have done accounting, have you? Exam have it fine. So in the balance sheet of any organization, if you are using the T format, there is a left hand side where you see capital structure, which is called financed by made up of equity, made up of debt, retained earnings, and uh, uh, reserve water. Very good. What does N is after the quarter to happen? So those ones are part of capital work, for example, the capital structure. But in this particular topic, our concern, one of the uh, underlying factors is that they assume there is only two types of capital. There's only two types of finance, equity and debt. How I many? Two. Equity and what? Debt. So that means our assumption here is to consider only two types of capital, finance, uh, equity, and what? Debt. That means the total value of a company is made up of what? Debt, the market value of debt, plus the market value of what? Equity. Only. How many types of debt? Two. Debt and uh, so come right. Capital structure. Capital structure consists of. Let's just write something down. So that they know we have started. Capital structure consists of. Capital structure consists of. Equity. Equity, comma. Debt. I know that that debt could be bond, I mean, could be debenture, it could be uh, financial leases and so on. All of them are all debt. Come on. Retain earnings. Retain earnings. Retain earnings. Retain earnings. Full stop. That's what we call capital structure. Stop. In this topic, in this topic, in this topic, for capital structure decisions or theory, in this topic, for capital is on the board, capital structure decision or theory, we shall consider. We shall consider three schools of thoughts. Three schools of thoughts. Three schools of thoughts. 
namely three schools of thought, namely one. One. Next operating. Next operating. Income approach. Net operating income approach. That's the first one. Two. Oh, sorry, sorry. Let's do this. Okay, it doesn't even matter. But no, let's do that. So it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. After all, we have not been in the house. So this one is net income approach. There are two different things. So don't worry. Three. MM. MM approach. I hope you know what's that MM. For the linear and then Miller. Uh, this one is for the B and this one is Miller. So these people have their own you know, decision as it comes to capital and structure. There's a fourth one, but we will not uh, consider that because it's not part of uh, our scheme of work. But that one is called the pure traditional approach. Pure traditional. That one does not calculate. It has a kind of graph, but it's not part of our uh, scheme. So we'll just consider this three. One thing about a school of thoughts is that when they make or they talk about their what uh, thought or decision, there are rules to follow as it concerns their respective world rules. Uh, the general rules you need to consider, which will also include uh, the kind of formula before we start taking the approaches one after the other. First one, net income approach. Second one, net operating income approach. The third one, MM approach. So let's, let's take this one now. The following are the underlying assumptions. The following are a new topic, a new survey, no, sorry about this. The following are the underlying assumptions. No, 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 all of them. They have one, they have. So, we'll get to one of the clear rules. Underlying assumption for capital structure theories. Underlying assumption, I'll just summarize it. One, which I've said before, there are only two sources of world capital, two types of world capital. Only assumption number one is that there are two types of world capital. Namely, debt and what equity. That's one assumption you need to understand. Another one to look at. Two, the firm. That was whatever thing. The firm has policy. The firm has policy of paying out the firm as policy of paying out 100% of its earnings. The firm has a policy of paying out 100% of its earnings as dividend, of its earnings as what? Dividends. Another one. The business risk is constant. The business risk is constant. The business risk is constant and independent. The business risk is constant and independent of the capital structure. Another uh, assumptions that this particular structure will take there is no taxes. There is no taxes. There is no taxes and bankruptcy costs. No taxes and bankruptcy costs. And so many as you read, you can go ahead and get all these things. So, 
Have we seen these assumptions? Let's uh, write down the formula. I would need to know. Uh, this is a uh, formula. Formula. Which we know before. We all know that KE is what? KE is what? Cost of equity. And I'm going to say that we have an idea. That's why. K what again? Remember, there's an assumption. There's only two types of capital. Why are you calling KP? Uh, only have two types of capital here. Yeah? Uh, cost of what? Debt. Is that okay? We all know this one also. This one is okay. We take average cost of what? We all know that. Or in a simple language, cost of what? Or the overall, I mean, the overall cost of war. Another thing to look at is capital E. Oh, we have not forgotten capital E. Can you remember capital E? You remember capital E? I have market value, I mean. I hope you have at least some of these things we have heard before. This kind of the symbol. So at least that makes it a little bit. Uh, Interesting. This one is market value of the debt, which we are aware. I remember that was the time I wrote capital D. I gave it name that time. Please what? Remember? Total value of the world. Of the first. You remember? On the which topic is that the cost of capital? Good. Another formula to remember, we have not forgotten our idea, but they are after annual interest, I mean, annual interest charge, I mean, or what? On their I mean. good. Another one which we want to is FOI. So let me the board, I mean. NOI, what does that mean? Yes. So we are written today. Abi? Income. Or N is Abi? Okay. Or what we call? I would remember this. So profit before interest or what? Another one is uh, a head I just want to so that's I call us. Abdul, is a head is a is and as well, I've been forgotten. Now, okay. You know, this net operating party. When you remove interest, it will not be net income. Am I correct? No, no, no. When you remove what? Interest, it will not be net income, which is now the earnings available to shareholders. I mean, if there's no tax, you know that this particular assumption says there's no what? So when there's no tax, we are removing from I mean, uh, interest on debt from our net operating income. What remains is the income available to shareholders. Am I correct? Good. Another thing to look at. Well, this, we all know we have written it before uh, one time. 
remember this, and the value of the company. So that time there was preference shares, have it? Value of the company was preference, debt, and everything. Now that the assumption is that every company only has two types of capital, have it? Debt and everything. So addition of this, we'll give us the total value of what the bank, which is our award, the award is seven. And if I take my time to be small, I reflect. If I divide, for that one is not okay. If I divide all by B, they have one. If I divide by B, let me just say. Divide it by what? I mean, if I divide by B, it needs to be B over B, I mean. It will be B over what? B. It will be D over what? You don't worry, you may not know what you're telling to do. Don't worry, I said, in case you think, don't I hope it's still the same thing as this. Have it? That's a simple, uh, but nobody will ask you. Don't leave that one. Which one? Oh my God. Uh, I may use it somewhere, but it may not be that serious. Uh, because sometimes, don't worry, but you know this one. You know this. I just said the 5%. You will remember some uh, data. Don't worry yourself. Another thing to look at is that for you to find cost of what that cost of what R, all of our work to be. And that means I can do this watch or look at the board. Cost of what? Debt, I mean. Cost of debt. Rates. That's interest rate channel. Yep. All over the total value of what? Debt. And you agree with me, it can also be like this. I mean. Change this subject of what? This one come here, this one go up. It's still the same thing. But there are times. Um, for you to find the value of what the debt is only cost of debt you give us and the uh, interest was great. So, all the result need to do is to divide and you get the result in that way. So, okay. so, any of these two, remember, cost of debt is R over D or total market value of debt is equal to over this. So, any of them depend on what uh, the question to be able to manage it. Uh, very well. Another one is cost of FPT. Cost of FPT. Cost of FPT is our I. You know that I is our is our net. This one is our what? Earnings available to shareholders. Are it? So this I divide by the market value of what FPT will give us this. Or FPT in I over what? A, yeah, it? Any of those two can work there. Uh, don't remember the formula. We'll be, what we use it regularly, uh, it becomes part of what? Finally, and this is our small, small formula. A, O, I mean, cost of the uh, weighted average for I mean? Will give us N O I. That is net of pretty what? Income. I mean, all over the total value of the pen, which can also be changing subject of what? Formula. All over K O. I mean, is it clear? Any question? Espresso de blog.
We all know something like this. KO is equal to KT. All right, E. No. So we have to come out of And you have to put it in your head. You have to put it there. How you will do it? I don't know. But God is your strength. This is our life. You go come and go. And it will be fine. There's nothing there. Hey, see, see here. See here. What is this? I can fix it that. I'm from a woman. Which is the linear function of everything to death. No, but you know this formula. This is written, I mean, yes. it is KD. You know, there's no three now, I mean, as long as there's only two types of capital, I So it's also the same thing. If we don't, if we don't get it like this, using this formula. We can also use this formula, I mean. Yes. We can use this one. I'm not saying that what I did here, this one I did, I did. I can replace this now with this and form something, I mean. Right. So, I cannot say KO, but this one is very important. Don't bother yourself. This one is just uh, what do you call that? Academic exercise of my like that. I and I can expand and do something. But don't worry, don't worry. So okay, nice, nice. Very good, very wow. We all know. Um, oh, this, this is one that could be important. Okay. Now, like this one. A, A, A to B, which you know before and I have it. A, E. This one you know it before. Okay. And this is important. And that one is important. Because if the other one doesn't work, the down one can uh, work. Out there? Any questions? So what is important is just all this uh, formula that is on the board. We can remember the formula. So, so among all the approaches, we'll start with the uh, net income approach. From net income, we look at the net of net income. I saw, we saw. I saw the, don't like it for that of memory. I hope you enjoy that one. This also looks like that. It's also very I've already seen all that. Those of us online, I hope you are following. Yes, so. Hmm. Are you following? Yeah, watch it. Okay.
recognize the formula very well. And then with that, we can get some. Is of the view that is of the view that leverage is of the view that leverage or capital structure, leverage or capital structure can affect the value of a firm, the value of a firm or the cost of capital. I said net income approach is of the view that leverage or capital structure can affect the value of the firm. That value is VIB. 
the value of the firm or cost of what? Capital. Cost of capital is what? KO. KO. What? Wow. Is that okay? We have to know those terms. Very important. Full stop. If a firm, full stop, full stop. If a firm, but we have already told you that this particular school of thought made us to understand that the uh, value of the firm can increase or there's an effect. Value of the firm and the cost of what capital. So I want to tell you what the problem is. If a firm, if a firm increases the debt, increases the debt in its capital structure, increases the debt in its capital structure, the value of the firm will increase. That's true, Abby. Am I correct? The value of the firm will increase. If a firm increases the debt in its capital structure, the value of the firm will increase. While what? While what? W A C C. Work is what? Think about Abi? Abi? Okay. While work will be reduced. While work will be what? Reduce. So, what, we, what this is this says that cost of debt and cost of equity will remain constant, even as we increase what debt. And what you need to understand one of the cheapest source of capital is debt. Equity is not cheap, equity is expensive. Are you aware? I'm just saying. Debt, you know, when you get debt, you don't pay, unlike a shareholder, then you pay dividends as time goes on. You don't stop. Did you stop? Except if you don't make profit, but you keep on paying because somebody gave you money. But don't like, no, it's not like it's a normal thing. When you buy shares, shareholders are the owner of the company. Their money is there. You keep on paying them. There's nothing like you have stopped. Unlike debt that is redeemable, you will get it once you stop. So that's why I say that the cost of debt is cheaper when compared to cost of everything. And you know that in this particular topic, there are only two sources of what capital. Debt and what? Equity. One is cheaper. So the word order. Debt is cheaper when it compares to Is that okay? So with this uh, small story and other ones we have known already, we'll take a question. I'm going to send a question now to our group. I'm going to send two questions. One for me. One for me. Can you say this topic? You have not written it at all. It is together. Okay. Let's send this first one. So we will see that first question. Thank you. 
What year, please? What year? Hello? What year? Which past question? No, what year? Want, but we'll still look at the past question. It's the last one. So, but for now, let's start with this. The past question is not common. It's only one year. I saw that. What should be 2020, 2021? Let's see what happens. Has it been sent? Are we there? Only one, one. Let's let's do it. We'll finish one. We'll look at the second. Very good. With that question, every man looking at that question, we have already got to the answer. Just men looking at it. But let's start. Let's pray. So no, don't look at the question. There's one there. So I know my thing. We'll start like this. Remember, we are using that thing from what? Sorry. So, but you know that it's net operating income in that question, have it? Which is how much? Yeah, we'll write it like this. Is that okay? In this question, there was belt, have it? Am I correct? Yeah. How many percent there? So that means we're going to remove interest, have it? Remember our formula? Uh, N minus I, have it? So we less. Uh, what is it called? Interest charge is added, which we agree is five percent. Five percent added. Yeah. Perfect. So is it is it n minus i or n minus r? So yes. And uh, what is it? Is it is it N minus I or N minus R? Is it R or high? I thought it's R. No, R, 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 R. Oh, my. So that means that I, I is equal to N minus I. Very good. That's good. So 12% of what? 750,000, I That's the debt. So what do you have? <laughs> How about following? Yes. I'm not following. What? Look at it. What is this? What do I want to get now? Net income. Yes. Uh, available to who? Shareholders, have it? And for us to get net income, available to shareholders, it must be net operating what? Minus what? Rate, have it? Capital and interest, annual interest rate on debt. 90 what? 90,000. Good. And when we subtract, we should have 210,000, have it? So this one is either earnings. Because this end or net income, take notes, net income available, available to shareholders. I hope you are following because it is the net income we are going to give to shareholders, I mean, for them to share either 10% or 20% as TV. Remember, this is net income approach. We are given net operating what income. Normal knowledge of trading profit and loss account. It's playing here. Yeah? Net operating income minus the interest on the debt. This one that will be making us earnings available to who? Shareholders. Or net income available to what? Shareholders. Is that what I'm certain? Yes, yes. I know. 
Hello, Mr. Vincent. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Mr. Vincent. Hello. Mr. Vincent, I have a question. Mr. Vincent. Mr. Vincent will join you shortly. He's attending to someone on the fiscal class. Please, kindly wait. It seems they don't understand what is there. Let, let's take it easy. Let me read the question. The question says, it says, premium publishers limited has an expected net operating income of 300,000. Abby? On the board, net operating income is how much? 300,000. And the question continues. With a cost of equity of 14%, the company currently has a 12% sum of debts. And you're all aware, when there is debt, we must pay interest. That interest taken away from net operating income will give us net income available to shareholders or just net income or earnings available to shareholders. Is that what I said to you? Now, the person say you are required to repair question A. We want to know the value of the firm. Look at the board. Value of the firm, where is that right there? Value of the firm is made up of what? B equal to B plus what? And B, value of the firm is debt, value, market value of debt plus market value of what? Equity. Now, the process of solving this problem is that I'm going towards getting one. Value market value of what equity already they have no market value of debt, which is 70,000. That one is clear. The value of this debt is 750,000 is in the question. Yeah, yeah. Is the interest I just calculated to get net income? So, my concern now, first of all, is to get the market value of what equity. And we have agreed where is it on the board? Cost of equity, market value of what equity. Are you seeing it? Is what? Uh, this I is what? Net income, I mean. Net income. Over what? Cost of what? Equity. So that's what I will just do now. E, which is the market value of equity. Is it clear? Is it equal to I? What is our I? 210 over 0.14. Fourteen, I mean. Cost of equity is 40 percent Remember the formula. K is one over E, or E is one uh, income, national or net income over what K. So either this one is working or this one is working. That depends on what we are given. If we don't have market value, and I have this, I can use this to get that. So that means this two formula it works for getting cost of equity or market value of what equity. And that's the formula is E. Is equal to net income, which is I. Net income is I. Net operating income is N on the board. So over cost of what? Equity is in the question. It was given us 40%. I just put it on that. And somebody can press the What is the result? Uh, okay.
What is the result? Uh, five million. One point five million. One point eight. One point five. How much? Two hundred and ten thousand. One point five million. Million. One point five million. One point one million. Is it clear? That is the market value of equity. One of the uh, one of the uh, composition of the value of what depends. The next thing is what debt, I mean, which is what seventy-five. Any question? I have just concluded what? So to what? Find of the what? Right. And that answers question one. The question A says I should find first total value of what? The fact. And total value of the fact, what I just found using what? Uh, net income approach. And the question is not subject. Is that you find? Okay. Let's try slowly stuff. I thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Yes. Ah. But I hope you understand what you have got. Those of us online, are you doing well? I thought you were. Okay. Good, yeah. good. And that's what we got. Mr. Vincent, I don't understand Jack. You don't know. Uh, Mr. Vincent, I'm not understanding. Mr. Vincent, can somebody call his attention for me? I've been calling Mr. Vincent since he's not here. Can you go ahead? Mr. Vincent, are you yes, there? Yes, I can hear you small, small. Go ahead. Oh, okay. I don't understand if the net operating income is 300,000 and we subtract X. Yeah. Do you have the question? I have the question. The net operating yeah. income is 300,000. 300,000 the question, Abby. Yes. Then the yeah. interest on the, the interest on, on the on the debt, which is 90,000, Abby. Yes, sir. Then we so give us right which is the earnings available to shareholders or net income available to shareholders. Did you understand that one? Yes. So, but I so thought to, uh, to some. Uh, so. My question is I don't, the figure, the, uh, is it the board you know, or something? 300. Thousand minus nine hundred thousand supposed to be one ten. One ten. Two ten. Sorry, two ten. It's okay, okay, ten okay. Million. I understand. Two hundred and ten. Okay, okay one ten now. Ninety thousand. Okay, okay, clear now. It's clear, better, better. Clear, better. clear to that point. Thank you. Or increase the volume. Thank you. So we are ready, Abi. Very simple. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So any question? We all know that now. Eh? Can we go for the KO? Formula for board. Look at the board. 
Our KO is on the board already. What is the KO? Are you seeing me? It's not difficult. Please over this. So, we are asked to find the total value of the firm and the uh, work, uh, which are the cost of capital or KO. So, we now say KO is still on question A. KO is NOI all over what? V. Remember, KO is NOI, net operating income. That's 300 won. All over. Somebody divide. What do you have? It's very simple. Net operating income. We're studying those things much more. 0.13333. Are you? Anyhow, so final last size, 13.1. Any question? We have just finished question A. And that is just how the answer should be. Yes. The question. Sorry. Yes. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. There's no assumption like that. They give up a hundred percent dividend. Okay, they, they pay out. They don't reserve anything. Uh, it's one of the some theories of a dividend policy, which we have done one time. Yes. I want like that to make it percent. Because this over hundred will give us this. This over hundred will give us this. Every single time we say 10%, 10% means 0.1. My dad, 100, we we'll get 10%. So there is. We have just solved question A of that simple question. But just question A. Very simple. We want to see how we can get what we call optimal capital structure. But in that second one, we'll let you know what the optimal capital structure of the thing. Yeah. which I don't know what I'm Tell the output net income and future. If they say it's net operating income, understand it. There's no direct point for investment. I wrote it for you. Are they getting it? The amount they have. You know, as many as you know, after they have, they subtract tax. For this person, the tax is the assumption. So we can't talk about that. So it's only the rate, interest rate on debts, uh, which says we remove it. The remaining is all continue to share with them. Let's say if shareholder declare ten percent of it, so the ten percent of that net income after tax yeah. for the shareholders, share but some will give them some more. So, 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 so,
process. We don't try to do until probably the majority of the is a human Why is it human being? We say that we need the pain in the Those of us online, Alpha, are we copying? Are we copying? Hello? Those of us online, are we copying? Now, it's just the same question. Are you following? But this time I'll adjust a little adjustment. The question says B, are they? That's it, there's an assumption. Our debt was 72,000. They now increase to 900, 900,000, are they? Is it? 900,000. No, it was 74. The 18 days assumption, are they? So 900. No, 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 forget it, but now it has been increased, are they? Assuming it was increased to 900,000, are they? Is that the grammar? Yes. Assuming that is increased to 900,000. Are you following? That means the value of the company will no longer be sold, are they? But that, it will not be 900 what? Our interest will change. Will it be 12 percent 70? We take the 900. Now you notice that calculation will change more. Are you following? This E will also change. Ah, uh, so that's E must change. D2 will change. Total value of the pay will change. Uh, cost of equity may go down, but it will change. It will change. Now, that will move. Any questions? So we are now in what? D. So the same thing you have known, but just I want to take our time. Let me just clean it once. So let me let me clean it once so that people will not miss things to get. Uh, let me clean it properly so that ah, I thought properly. properly. This was now. My leave that said. Yes. Ah. Well, I should clean this. Okay. No, Wala, no, Wala, no, Wala. <sighs> okay. Net operating income hasn't changed, have you? That was nothing changed. Yet. Then this one is not now. Now we are repeating. So 12% of the now that has already up. What was? Uh, are they correct? I, I don't understand. Okay. 108. That is a Luna. 108,000. Are they? Yes. One is sometimes. 192. This is less, are they? Okay, let me put back here for some people. Yes, okay. yes, okay. For some people. For some people. Is it clear? But remember that if I put less here, I can't put bracket. But which are not come on now? One less. One less. So we have here. Our cost of equity still remains 14 percent. Have it? Now we want to find uh total value of the word bank. Our E, which is the uh, market value of equity, I mean, will now be what? Okay, let's see that diagram. There will now be I, I mean, all of our words. K, E, I mean, which is what? 192,000, all of our 0.14, which will give us. One million three seven what? Uh, four two eight. No cover. Five seven. Is it clear? Yeah. This is one million. Good. Our debt 
will not be what now? Our debt will not be now that out of it. I hope they are following. Somebody press calculator for us. That is not the total value of what? The fact. Two million. Two million. Two seven one. Four two eight. Four two eight. Four two eight. Five seven. So. Are the value the same? No. I didn't say. One is bigger. Than it. One is smaller. Than it. Very good. They are all. Okay, Wally. Okay, Wally. You know what? They do two things. That is total value of the time. So, NOI, all of our own. So, that is uh, 300,000 over 27, 48. But it's what? I hope it is. You are not getting it gradually. It's not flowing. We oh, thank the Lord. Oh, yeah. 13. Is that true? That's the word. 1, 3, 2, 1, are they? Finally, 13.1. 21. 21. Now listen to this. No, I'm not like it. I don't want to talk. In examination, we have calculated two things now. We have two values of the company. Okay? The first value was uh, what is it? Very good. The second value is two. This one is bigger. Okay? Yes. Then we have two KO. Two KO. The first KO was 13.3. The second one was 13.1. In capital structure decision. Are you for We have what we call optimal, optimal capital structure. Optimal what? Optimal capital structure is that point, is a point, or is that location, or is that point? Okay, copy. Copy, copy, copy. Yes. What is this here? Just tell us, no problem. I don't know looking at the question from our formula. No, no, from our formula. I'm not looking at the question. You should know. That's what I was going to say. I don't know it. I know, no, it may be coincidence. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that means automatically you have known the answer before now. Uh, but don't go and say, whether you know the answer before now. So, let's see a second. Because I'm not telling you, I say, ah, total balances. When you have not shown the work, you must be shown. Even if it is wasting of time, you must show them. Okay, let's uh, the equity a bit. Okay, the one thing that I understand. What is it? Okay, don't worry, don't worry. There's a second person which you will try, which you will try. So that's an, uh, an opportunity to know where that's in short. I'll send it. I'll send it. No, it's good. I like that. You know, when you begin to practice this way, I can speak of that. When the exam is over, you'll find this is just not like I will advise. Don't go for what you don't know. There are so many questions in the exam. The important those points you can remember now. Throw it down. When you are finished, you can't be searching for what I want to add. Uh, at, at this level, you don't even need to get on there around it. 78, 78%. 70 is 8, 70. You need to remain in Tatumas for them. Just get 70. B, 5. 
That's why they can see our point here. We like stress. Uh, but here we like stress. But if you have 3.5, uh, you won't. Uh, so that is the point. For this one, MBA is managerial story. Professional. So if you want to go for that, you have to go and do MS. That, by the way, outro. Tell you about online. We do it. Hello. Now, I have, hello, hello. I have two value of the pair. I have two KO. Abi, am I correct? When we say optimal, that is the peak, Abi. Very good. If I tell me, ask you now, what is the optimal capital structure? Of the time. optimal capital structure of premium publishers limited. I put in this question we have solved. We've got two value of effect. We have two KO. Optimal capital structure is defined as optimal capital structure of a firm is defined. Is defined at that point. Is defined at that point. Optimal O P T I M A L. Optimal capital structure of a firm is defined as that point where the total 
value of the time. Total value of the time. Total value of the time is at maximum. Maximum. Maximum and and the work W A C C or K O or over raw cost of work capital. I hope you understand this. We have work or K O or over raw cost of work capital is at minimum. Minimum. So is that okay? On that statement now. What is, is that what? Is that so what? Called? Is that and the work? For what are the the work? The work or K O or overall cost of capital is at minimum M I N I like this. Is that okay? So what? Is, oh. No, just tell me. With that, with what I've given to you now, it's not matter of deep. With what I've given to you now. The optimal cost of capital is that point. Total value of the time is maximum. How much? Why the cost of uh, capital? Uh, cost of capital is at what minimum? So what is the answer? When the interest, when the interest price is Ah oh, no, no, no! You guys are not getting what I thought. Okay, this is the answer. And this is the answer. Um, you just tell me total value is this. KO is 3, 13.21. That's what this is minimum. Because there are two KOs, Abby. This is the smallest. There are two total values. This is the maximum. So, the grammar is your cost is over. This is the comment. No, that's the comment. No, nobody gave me that one. The comment here is that. No, this is the comment. That the cost, the, uh, what is it called? The debt was increased. I put it. Total value of the pen. Went up. Cost of equity went down. And that's that word. Okay. Optimal capital structure. That's the only effect. Because the debt went up. Because the cost of debt is cheaper. Am I correct? Are you seeing it clearly? That even when we increase debt, our cost of debt is still cheaper. So that's how we say that uh, cost, uh, debt is the cheapest cost of work. Capital. When compared to equity. And you have seen it. Because it's 13 .2. Around 13.333. 13 so the more debt you take, the cheaper the cost of what? Debt. Uh, cost of uh, debt or capital, whichever one. All of them. So in this case, our cost of capital is lower as we increase debt. While our, the value of the firm increases at that point, that is the optimal so capital. Yeah, more debt. <laughs> it's cheaper. It's cheaper to borrow compared to equity. Equity is expensive. The way you borrow properly, you know that uh, these are uh, people that just borrow and uh, just borrow money and use the app. When you borrow money and use it very well, it's going to do a very good job. For what we are seeing. Uh, but that's very easy for proper use. Proper use, when it's proper use, it will be, it will yield a great fit. Is it clear? So that's all for that question. Am I correct? Is that all? So take another one. I'll try it out. This one will not take us time before we go to net, uh, what is it called? Net operating. Let's see another question. Okay. The second question is on the way. The second question was um, similar. The figures could be different. 
but uh, still on that income approach, which I want to I let us know your interpretation, which is on the optimal capital structure, uh, because this topic has not been treated at all in this class. And by giving you to try more, is for you to understand better, so that it comes out. And it's not common in your past question, except one question, which I was talking about go today. There's one question there, but that will be under MN. We'll see that. But meanwhile, try this one. I hope it has been sent. It's similar. You don't look at the board and do the same thing because uh, practice makes uh, perfection. Have you seen it? So just try the same thing as auto limited or auto PLC has an expected net operating income 200,000 with cost of equity. This one 15 and uh, half percent of it. Maybe the round could be less than who knows. Uh, the company current uh, currently has 30 percent 850 debt. We are required value of the firm cost of debt. The same thing. There's no difference. It just figures uh, change. The next five minutes, you should be done. No more. Yes. Very simple. Good. The man half at sea level, small, small again. It's easier. Good. You are done. Are you going to ask? Once you are seeing no one, you play. Can I just check, check my. I know it's good. it's good to copy the question because uh, your phone call, something could happen, may not see the game. You see, we don't wipe up. No, that's why it's copying now. I don't know why you're copying. Oh. It's like you're clean like that. Okay. Oh, so the eyes. It's okay, I understand. It's not just me. Oh, Remember, this is net income approach. Those of us online, I hope you are solving. Make sure you are participating. Don't let your test practice be at the exam hall. We need to practice before the exam hall. If you have been practicing regularly, the exam will just be a point as if you are doing revision. Fifteen and a half percent. Fifteen point five. Fifteen point five. Over hundred.
Yes, the result is come. Result. You don't get that. Okay. Bali is easy. Seems what you see is quite Yes. Is wrong yes. Yes. So no is for equity a bit. Yeah. So I'm going to use that one. That opens the tip. Somebody must have uh, concluded the story. Those of us online, what is happening? What is the answer over there? Or have you started? We're through. Have you got to the optimal? The optimal. I don't like we agreed. KO will be decreasing as the number of debt increases. KO decreases. Total value of the pen increases. Why the KO decreases? I believe that I own should also be. Is that okay? It's very confusing. Are you there? That's the answer. Oh, you know the person should find the total value. No, 60% now interest now. Do we normally multiply that? Is it not R for us to get net income? We don't need that now. Okay, maybe let me remove that. Debt is 1.8 million, Abby. Abby. So equity, market value of equity is 2 million shares, Abby. 
That is the 12 naira per share market value price. So remember, this is market value, total market value of the pen. Is it clear? So this is 25 million, 800,000. Let me read it again. Uh, the question says, please those that say they want to solve past questions. And the past question they want to solve. Just small thing, and I will never even solve that past. Oh, yeah. And now the substance. The question says, MSC full time limited. And MSC part time, look at the question. Are two firm operating the same industry? They both have, yes, which is NOI 1.2, gone, which is expected to be constant indefinitely. That is, by the way, MSC full time is financed. That is the capital structure of MSC full time. 1.8 million, left, Abby? Yes. Interest payable is 60 percent, and two million ordinary shares. As if it was part, it would have been at one era, would have been two million. But you say the market value is 12 million, so we have to use this to modify it. So give us market value of what equity, which is 24 what, uh, million. So when we add the two together. That becomes V, the total value of your liver of the liver world. Okay. Is it clear? It's part. If it is part, maybe it would have been, but there's one error there. There's one error. Yeah. That is nominal value. Yeah. But we're talking about market value. I hope you remember that our V is the total market value of the fact. Our E is the market value of the fact. So you must be careful. Except if the person has already told you like that. But the market value of equity, market value of what debt is what we need to add together to give us total value or total market value of the bank, which we have just bought without wasting. So in this case, we're not even bring shares. Shares, yeah, not shares. Shares, is it not shares? Shares, that's right. Is it not 2,000, 2 million shares? 60% is debt now. Oh, no, going going to, um, what are we going to write for them? This is the value of the debt, Abby. Yeah. This is the market value of the debt. And you are aware that B is equal to B plus one. This is what we just see. This is B plus B equal to B. We just see me. I don't know whether I did that class or. No, no. This is not It's affecting now. It's not affecting now. Which one? So like you don't say it now. What we did? That one we are trying to find equity. No, we, we wrote N O I minus R. Uh, which we are not doing that now. The question say find the total value of the pen. Yes. Yeah. 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 Plus market value of equity. This is market value of equity. And this is that of what? Yes. Addition of it. So we give us what? Which one? And there This one is just Levi. We're going to do a Levi. Well, let's check what is there. Roman figure one says you are required to calculate weight average cost of capital and the value of the two firms using the net income capital. Well, now, look at this. Keo, Keo, is this, over this. So Keo for Levi, Keo, which is the one, Abi is what? Eh? Oh, I over what? Over two five eight zero 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 zero. And somebody must have graduated. Is it clear? Why we did this? 
They say we should look for it. And we still need it for what? Formula is very poor. Even me, I don't know it. I'm only using the formula. If you don't see the formula, I know what to do. So when you don't see the formula, you should know what to do. See the formula. You have to put it Yes. By the one that I collect them from. Zero point zero four six five. So that is a one point six five seven. Am I correct? So that means I have succeeded in calculating the total market value of the liver then and the weighted average cost of capital of the liver pen. What I did here, I will replicate for the unlivered pen, which is MSC per time. So, you are, listen, this is not MSC. Uh, ah. This is MBA. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for coming on, sir. This one, I don't say Don't invest in that. <laughs> no best. No best. No uh, still on net income approach. This is MSC PT. Limited. This is on Libad. On Libad Pen. Uh, this is the total. The total market value of the pen. So I eat. Okay, let's check. All right, I just said, you know, I should wait. Yeah, which is nice. Time is going. That number is too long. Let's for you. I'm not saying long, but. We have to dress that you have to come down. Exactly. It's coming down. I Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah. <laughs> MSC part time limited has a market value per share of Nana City Company. And the whole, remember, it was a fully financed equity. 2.1 times this. Somebody press the calculator for us. Our equity. Eh? Nine, nine times this. Six million. Okay. Eight hundred and eighty. Eight hundred and eighty. Good. This is what? Get that day. Get no day, But it's not compulsory. We can just forget that. You don't want to let us know it's not there. There's no debts. So please, they just zero. Yes. Okay, yes. zero. Total. Okay, total value. So like this is going to be the first one. Of the pen. So the examination question was always the one company will have the other. Have the two candles have the no, it's not. Now that we have known the total value of the uh, on liver pen, our work or KO will be N O I okay. all over all over what? B. So here will give us two six eight no, no, no. one point two are all over two six eight eight zero zero zero. Result 1.2. Those of us online, I hope you are copying 0. 0. 0.46. Are we? That is a 4.46. Okay, six. Are we? This one is reducing. Are we? Yes, good. They didn't say anything. Not say she okay, remember the example. They not say she can't read, can't read. Oh, wow. This is weight application, right? <laughs> the person said you are required to calculate the weighted average cost of capital and the value of the two firms using net income average. That's what we have just done. Because there's all that thing we can do. KO passing chain from NY to B. And uh, remember that MM always supports net operating. So that is solution for number one. For number two. No, the good, good luck. Sorry, sir. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. From the keyboard one, we need to deduct the. Okay. We are not looking for equity. Uh, no, say we are looking for equity. Uh, yeah. Our formula doesn't okay. have anything for us to do that. I feel. Okay. But assuming we have, if we are looking for equity, it would have been better. But there is nothing for that. We are only looking for weighted average. I know how we can play weighted average. Whether when there is a big bad it's always NOI over B. So it doesn't change. Formula is good. Then number two says, assuming this is a good law, all step is sent equity in MSC full time. You know that MSC full time is delivered. Yeah. Mr. Good law has 10% equity. I mean, mm -hmm. he wants to move to MSC part time, that is finance by shares, equity mm -hmm. only. He wants to try. The question says, demonstrate. Uh, demonstrate. That means we should calculate. If necessary, the switching. Switching there means arbitrage. Switching or arbitrage. Moving from one labor to one on labor. In the year, uh, they put a for the other company. See whether market will do good for that. Uh, no one is spend too much money. But he has to check. So if he check, we will not give advice. 
If you check, when I give advice, if you check, when I give what advice, I follow. We give advice of how to go to it. Is that okay? That's all. What I say is that good luck was a human being. The last step is said in uh, MSC Good Time Limited demonstrates if necessary switching that might take place using MM approach. So let us know. Sometimes they will even tell you advice whether you should shift or there should be a bit. You should trade off something or not. Is it clear? Is it clear? Oh, yeah, we can put here on it. Can I clean it? Let me just write it in that way I can. Okay. Let me write it in that way I can, then I start the explanation. It doesn't allow me to talk about <laughs> yes, um, it shows that good luck wants to sell and buy. Am I correct? He wants to sell his hoodie and he wants to buy something from a part time uh, limited. Let's start this way. Hope you are screaming clearly. This is a Roman figure two. MM approach. Sales of 10% holding. Who is selling? Good luck. Thank you. Because good luck is a share holder. Okay? It's an investor. In MSC. Full time limited. President, you must say, you will say to get one, it's like I buy the other side. No, 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 it's not just the balance it has 10% equity. I mean, so. Uh, he owns them. Oh, and you want to sell that to a owner? I want to do that. This one, this one is up. He owns ten percent equity. I mean, if the company is existing, he wants to sell it to get what money, probably for to add to what he has, so that he'll be able to buy from the unlevered company. No, he's saying that if we want to leave that place and go 
We are green apples. Don't just say we are going to sell every time. Go out, come out. That's what this guy wants to do now. He wants to sell everything he has. So before we go, that yes. member will not give us any. And definition of talk, we'll talk. Let's hear it. Just. But the MMM approach, you did not give like, 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 I said the MMM approach support net operating income. All the assumption remains what constant. And I've given you. Oh. I did not give you net operating income. That not give you. Did I give you net operating income approach? Did I give you? Underlying factors at the beginning. Yes, yes. So we now to the MMM supports work, NOI approach. And I said on that standing protocol, we move. Yes, hey, thank you. Now protocol we don't follow. Hey, like I was saying. In MSC full time. There are, what is it? Ordinary shares is two million. Yeah. Yeah. And this guy, good luck, an inventor or a shareholder, hold how many percent? Ten percent of that. Good. Two million, Harry. Two million, Harry. So give us what? Is it clear? The man owes what? 10% of equity in MSC full time. That's what he owes. Now, he wants to buy. He will want to do what? Buy. From where? From the Oliver. What is the head? The shares of the liver is 2.8, have it? Yes. 10% of 2.8, that is 280 million. 280,000. Yeah. How much does he have? Can he afford it? No. Then he needs to do what? Borrow. And where will he borrow from? Debt. How much is debt in uh, MSC full time? No. 1.8 million. 1.1 million. He will borrow. Tell me you know why he's borrowing. Two million in your hand. They want to switch from MSC full time to MSC part time. And for him to switch, he has an equity that is holding him full time. He will sell it, Nabi, for how much? So that he can get what? Money. Where is going? He want to check this, he want to test what has. Wait. You want to check things whether it will bear. First of all, person could sell, I mean. Now, when you in Japanese that side, you don't know whether it paid, I did no pay. Or somebody could have had, wait, somebody could have advised the person, let's check it out. This guy wants to check to remain in full time or remain in work. Full time is there. We have just started the show. Full time, equity is two million. The man. Holds ten percent of equity, mm -hmm. which is two hundred thousand. He sold it. That's the money in his pocket now, and he wants to invest. I mean, in put a part time. Part time equity is two point eight million. Ten percent of that is two hundred eighteen thousand. Does he have such money? Mm -hmm. Then he needs to borrow so that he can have more. That's it. That's how I borrow it. So you know it is a power one year. So one year, no wala. It's not market value. It's a nominal value. One year. 
No, 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 no. Why will he be sent? What he wants to do is that he needs money. He has money. He, he has money with 10%. And 10% of whatsoever nominal value is what he wants to get. So he needs to go rope, which is at the rate of 16 percent, I believe. But the debt there is 1.8 million. So 10% of 1.8 million is what he will borrow because he has an equity of 10%. So he wants to borrow some what? 10%. Everything he is doing is 10%, 10%. Wow, is doing is also 10%. Is 10 yeah. So let's move. So he has to borrow. Borrowing is what? 10% of 1.8 what? Million of debt that is there. And is that what? Is that okay? This is not total what? Fund available to, okay, to good luck, I mean. Is that one clear? This man now in his pocket, he has 380,000. As a big boy, he will not move to work full time and buy what? 10% worth of what share from him. Is that okay? Good. That one is settled. I will see that this is one part. The new part is now new what? It's new investment, I mean. And this is new investment in MSC, MSC part time limited, I mean. It's new investment. Are you following? They will buy, they will purchase. Purchase of what? 10% of it? Holding. Holding in what? MSC part time limited. And what is the shares in MSC limited? 2.8 million of it? Yes. This is what you will buy. This is the amount, the cost, I mean, that means the guy has the money to buy, I mean. How much does he have? Please. How much does he want? They are saving how much? Okay. Are you following? If 700,000 naira, and he buy it to it, and the returns he got from on Liban, is the same thing he's getting from Liban. What will he do? He will, he will stay. That means the switch is what? Good. But where my thing is not working, that means switch is not one. Good. That's what I want to find out. Is it clear? Now he has invested his habit. We're not looking for returns, have it? This returns. But this is investment. No, so, not market price. So how will invest in all these things? The first one, there's what return. On what? On investment. He has invested 280,000 in part time and he has 380,000. So he wants to get what? Returns. And how do we get returns? We all know. This is not income, I mean. Let's operate in what? Remember, it's returns on what? MSC. Part time, I mean. But that's where you invested a bit. First of all, I want to do the results here. Yeah? And be able to do the results of the other one. If you are the same, it's a wise decision. If you are different, you will not think about it. But this one, the investment is small, I mean, small money, and it's having the same return, then it's better to go to where they go, which is better. So let's see. Um, Net of printing income for both banks is 1.2, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Good. So, Equity, remember, is uh, uh, what is it called? His equity is always tens. Everything like this, ten percent, ten percent. So ten percent of uh, one point two million will give us what? One hundred thousand. Good. Remember, 
if this is this guy's never breaking it up, remember he borrowed. They will pay back. Interest are fine. When he pays out the interest, this interest, interest charge, which we know, the interest charges will be how many percent? Yes. Sixty percent of uh, 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 look up, look up, look up. The guy no borrow one point eight. The borrow one eight two thousand. And that, that money will pay. Who pay more than that? So how much? I hope it's twenty eight. It's on the head to check. So what's the result here? Thousand. Is it clear? This is what this is this what this is the return I've been able to describe it. In what? MSC. But what you see is returns in full time. If it's returned in full time, same thing as this. It's in where? This will, this will switch or have an addition. Let's see. This is what he has. This is the guy's return. Uh, let me say return. On investment. So what? Good luck at it. That's the return. We're going to part time limited and investing. He has made this return. So let's find whether in full time, whether I will get the same return. Yes. As, as. We just got the, lost, the borrowing ten percent. Yeah. Yes. You know, say the debt. Yes. In that part time. Yes. It's one point eight million. Yes. So you borrow ten percent of that, which is one eighty thousand, so that you can complete his money. So his money will go high. You can ask because I'm just saying that I'm going to do your own ten percent. Nothing saying that you borrow ten percent. He did not borrow because he wants to borrow. Ten okay. percent of his equity is two hundred thousand. Yes. But where is going? How much are these energy He doesn't have enough. He has to borrow so that his money can grow. Swell up. No, I'm just saying because the person is not. No, so the person wouldn't say so. We are borrowing because there is no money in our pocket. Okay. Do people tell you to borrow? You borrow because you look at your pocket. There is no money. You add to what you have to do what you want to do. The same thing happens to Mr. Goodlock. His equity in uh, his equity, what he owned, he owned 200,000. Yeah. And by the time that he's going, their equity is 2.8. Yeah. 10% of 2.8 is 280,000. So he can't pay with this. He needs to borrow from where he is. They have an equity of 1.8. Why now, but he has a money. So with this 3.8, he can invest. And he's still having change. His investment that he's never in what? Settle. Now, remember this is the part time which he has invested. He has made a profit on it or a return on investment. We want to now check, assuming he remained in full time, will he make the same returns? Let's find out. Yes. Net of printing income for the two companies is there 1.2 million. Have it? Is it clear? Yes. That's it. Is there? Which one? Is it? Yes. Oh, sorry. It's less. I got that. Is it clear? Remember this net of pretty income. Yeah, I, this is income, I think. Yeah. So who? Good luck. Or return. So good luck. Simple. Now, this one now is uh, 
MSC. Is on. No, this is part time. I know he has invested. I mean, this is the amount he put on the uh, company. I mean, this is return. But let's assume it's stay where he was. Believe me, God. That's what we want to find out. And uh, to know. Sir? This is interesting now. Tell me the guy for you. Who's your friend? Trust on that money. Who pay that money? I mean, if you borrow money online, who they pay? Or go back anyway? Then they pay money on teachers. Then they pay. Your friend. Now, this is MSC full time. MSC full time. Generally, as a company, they have not operating income. I want my God. But the whole company, I mean, yes. very good. And now, whole company, they have better. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. With less what? Interest charges, I think. Or let me say annual. Okay. Annual. Annual interest. Charges, have it? You know, it's the whole company. They borrowed the uh, 1.8 million. Am I correct? And they will pay back the whole company, have it? They will pay back 16%, have it? 16% of 1.8 million, have it? So what's the result? 288. Like this, have it? That's the whole company, have it? So what do we have? Let's have it. Is that what we have? Do you agree with me that this one is a net income? I mean, to who? No, no, no. no. So who? I mean, good luck alone. Returns. Returns to what? Good luck. It's what? 10%? Of 912, which is what? <laughs> is it the same? Yes. That means we we'll are advise him. Yes. To continue. Yes. To continue. Yes. Yes. He will continue because he's going to spend less money. Yes. To invest. 100,000 extra in his pocket. And he's still making the same. So why would he stay? We will we'll give that 380. Okay. And here he gives 280. That's all I do in my own business. I will move. So it's advisable for good luck to switch. It's advisable for the arbitrage because good luck will spend less to get the same returns when it was in full time than when it was worth part time. So that's a simple way to handle that kind of question. You just take your time, follow the calculation, and uh, your life will never remain. Which are the best? The best is factor is grammar. Grammar. You can. You can. Thank you. 
Owner, oh, there. Um, six words, factors, are they? Yes. Now we consider the purchase of a capital. One. Cost of capital. Okay, they're not seeing it. Okay. Roman, Three. Cost of what? Capital. I hope you know that is work, I mean. yeah. You know, if the cost of capital is low, you go for it, I mean. If it's high, you avoid for the chance of uh, capital. So that means if equity is high and debt is low, you know what to go for. But KO is the overall. If the cost of equity is very high, you avoid it. But if it's low, which means if it's at minimum, which shows capital structure that will give us. Uh, total value that is at maximum will go for that. Another one is what the cash flow. The cash flow position. Uh, you know, just like sometimes we talk about payback period, I mean, uh, cash flows that are high will encourage us recovering our what? our money on time. Cash flow. You see, it should be because when we say cash flow, we will not be referring to cost of capital in this case. If I say I've invested in the organization, the cash flow is not doing well. I wasn't talking about cost of projects. I wasn't talking about year zero. I wasn't talking about cash at flow. But I'm talking about cash flow. Because any person that has invested in cost of work capital will want a good world, cash inflow. But generally, we call cash flow. But you should know that the cash flow I'm talking about is the income that is coming. If it's nice, to show us that our payback period of probably two years, three years, we we'll be able to get that. That would be a good position for us to examine the uh, capital structure of uh, organization. Another one to look at is uh, return on investment. Just like you saw now, you will so now, I mean, I hope you saw one now. Return on what? Investment. Trying to look at good luck. Good luck. So the returns, the way they say. But uh, the initial cost uh, applied, one was higher than the other. I mean. This one was 380. The returns here yeah, are the same. Am I correct? The returns are the same. And those the returns are the same. But the investment is by different. Right? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This money has less money. That's how you go for now. Who want to waste money? How much you spend? It's meant to wait. So yeah, this is just. Return, return, our the same. But the investment is different. In a part time, he invested 380,000. I put it. He invested what? To it. And it's having the same returns, I mean. So you check the uh, investment. I say the system will be functional. Like the price will be uh, the amount that I invest in. Can I say the, the function of like um, period of time, duration can be a function? Well, because you know the longer the better. Because if you invest um, for a longer period, that's less or more. And when you invest on a shorter period, it, it also depends on the environment. Like in insurance now, when you pay premium, you pay a long period of time. Yes. For the same interest, you yes. get less or more. And that when you now do shorter. That must be on the environment and the part person. When we put inflation. That is 20 point something percent. It may have been what that person has done some years ago. I even say so it could be different. So it all depends on the environment, the fact of inflation and other things. Where things are normal, exchange rate and other things, it could affect. But we're talking about under 
where I feel that thing remain constant, which is not actually possible. So therefore, that everything can remain constant. So that's the problem. But everything could be the reason. From, from the face value of what we are seeing, we are looking at very small is big, this world is small, is a small cash, uh, cash out here that we'll look at. We will look at how big the money is, even if it's going in the down. And mind you, some investment goes up and come down. It all depends on the time. If it's a digital intercurrency, some crash, some go up, some come up. And and some is some is constant, so it all depends. So any factor can be used to explain it, and it works uh, that way. Another one to look at, you can add more, but let's just see another one that I jotted down. Well, another one me I can remember here is uh, the environment. The environment is a factor. That's another one I can still remember. The environment could be a factor. I may invest in A or B, depending on the uh, factors available. Price will go up or come down. Returns could be higher or what? Depending on what the environment is. But based on that, you can add more on your own. As I just said. Literature, which you can easily have. But the calculation part of it, you have seen how it is. Why good luck is investing in a pattern is because the cost of investing or cost of project is lower pattern than the world. Therefore, it's advised to move from pattern to world. So switch should be occurring. Arbitrary should be world. On that note, there's no other question. A bit trade, similar switch. A bit trade or switch. In the same country. So on that note, uh, that's all I can possibly take for today. Except uh, where the need arises. Like I said, I've uh, given you uh, my YouTube channel, Premium for oh, Chats. Oh, we have a check. I'll move on. What do you need? I said, I, I, I put four here. Say four. Four environment.